All right, so this is a, a video walkthrough of a Daikin 2-head 3MXS uh, ductless heat pump system and the new Daikin flash streamer air purifier system. Um, there is, if you go to YouTube and Google Daikin flash streamer, you will uh, be able to find a video that goes a little deeper into flash streamer. I'll probably have it on my website too, but um, it just gets you like, you know, where it takes apart the sections and shows you each piece and how that incorporates. At this point, I'm just going to show you the remote and, you know, the physicality of it and, and uh, placement, etc. But um, this is a remote for the Daikin, which if you watch any of the other videos, you'll see periodically. And then, uh, of course, normally we put that on a holster, but they've got a great spot for uh, remotes here that they keep everything. And then this is the uh, flash stream remote. Remote. There's a spot for it uh, on the flash streamer for holding it, but you can always, uh, of course, have it on a nightstand or somewhere in the house. Uh, there's really probably going to be, let me just clean that off. There's going to be two places where the flash streamer will be located, and either it's going to be in the house, there it is there, or it's going to be, say, in a master bedroom. Um, so right now we're installing our main head, the 18, up in the living room. So you know, the idea of what lies underneath. So there's our inner workings. Here is our cover, first part. And you'll notice the filtration on the, uh, the media filtration on a head is uh, a mesh that's cleanable vacuumable, washable, but you gotta, if you wash it, you're going to have to let it dry a little longer because these will catch, you know, the water tension and you have to let that dry out. Covered. So the one part about this that I wanted to cover first was the fact that placement of the flash streamer is important. What we want to do is, in this case, we have a convective loop. It's coming from the head here, it's coming down, and it's terminating in this room. The flash streamer takes air in here and ejects it here. So that air, what they want, Daikin wants, is we want that convective loop to follow with the air cleaning, and that's going to come back to the head, and it's going to circulate that air uh, just right by creating that loop. So if I take just a little bit on the streamer, so I have it on. Um, there's a couple features to this, is that you have your auto fan mode, which uh, the unit is going to sense and uh, be able to change its fan speeds based on uh, what it perceives as particulate count you have turbo so if you're doing a flush or you're just kind of person who needs turbo um, that's available of course you notice that there's a a noise consideration I'll take that from turbo down to sleep mode okay so if you have this up in a master bedroom you have your uh, your sleep mode which isn't going to be um, I can, you just can't hear it, it doesn't exist. And then you have brightness. So that takes those down and then gets rid of the outer two. So the only thing left is a, the sleep mode and the quiet uh, icon. So um, then you can take it back if you're in the main living area up there so you notice the light's changing. There's also um, a pollen button. Now the pollen button does not allow you to choose a fan speed. What it's doing is it's trying to uh, really focus in on uh, pollen as a particle so the machine actually changes itself to uh, adjust all the inner workings to focus strictly on pollen and getting rid of uh, that particle the thing about the flash streamer I keep saying that word is that the f really this is a photo catalytic oxidating unit with media filtration and electronic air cleaning so it's those three filters all combined in one the thing that's an added bonus is the flash streamer is an electron collider. So it's putting out high velocity electrons into the airstream and colliding with particles, which is basically destroying them at their uh, molecular level. So that part is exclusive to uh, the Daikin product and what makes it so effective. Um, let's see. Let's do one more. Just There is a, an off timer on this, but I'm not going to show you that. So we had turbo, and this is high fan. So I'll just turn it back to auto. This house is fairly clean anyways, but um, there we go. Okay. So now I will take you out to the, I'll take you upstairs to the uh, master bedroom. Let's see what we did. So we have this house. We're, we're going to heat this whole bottom floor with that one main head as far as placement goes. In this case, we were more concerned with the master bedroom. And uh, 
there's our master bedroom head. And the reason why we chose this location, customer thought maybe there would be good. But if you notice, if we are here, I'm looking at you know this wall here. If I'm here, I'm looking at not only the room, but the whole rest of the upstairs, which is going to have an effect. So here's the location of the old electric wall heater. So as we come back downstairs, <laughs> we move out to outside. Our wonderful technician Chris Palmer is working on <laughs> is working on his install, and in this case, we're getting the line sets put in a speedy channel for the uh, indoor unit. So you can see how that goes in. We'll have our cover on there, and then from there, we had our line ran over. And I'm not sure if I can get you over to, that's that master bedroom head. It's kind of tucked up there, but what's nice is they have a roof there, so our condensate just drips right into there and cooling. In this case, we have a wall mount. Get you a little, all our gauges and tools and whatnots. And uh, there you go. So that's a uh, two-head installation with Flash Streamer, uh, incorporating air quality into that. The thing that would be missing in this install that um, just wasn't in budget would be like an ERV, something to uh, balance the house as far as fresh air ventilation. Otherwise, um, you know, this is a, a, just a great way to go as far as incorporating air quality and efficiency and comfort.